So thank you, the organizers, for the opportunity to present uh, the platform that we created uh, for uh, students and early career researchers. And today I, I would like to present this platform on behalf of whole mentorship team. So a uh, few things about myself. I'm living and working in Lithuania in Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania, and I'm senior researcher in the Institute of Theoretical Physics and Astronomy, where my uh, scientific background is astrospectroscopy, and I'm interested in uh, knowing the chemical composition of stars that host planets and learning more about the chemical evolution of whole galaxy. Since our institute is in the project Europlanet project, I'm also involved in this project and I'm, I'm responsible for mentorship, so I'm the co coordinator. So I would like to present you in, in, in 10, 15 minutes or, or so the platform that we have created and I'm inviting everyone to have a look at the platform which is, uh, you can find it on Europlanet Society org mentoring. So in two, year, two years ago, we, we launched this, this program in order to support uh, students and young uh, uh, researchers working in the planetary sciences and also related fields. And our aim was to help uh, um, early career scientists to develop ex expertise uh, ask questions and discuss uh, their plans with um, with uh, more established members of planetary community and what is important um, uh, that uh, our program is uh, voluntarily is informal and very confidential uh, where mentors and mentees are working with each other in a manner that is flexible and suited to their individual working environments and one again, once again, you can just use your cell phone and scan this QR code that I'm showing you on screen or go to the European uh, Society org and you will find this, uh, this page where you will find information about our program, uh, how enrollment works, uh, uh, the, the sub page for mentors and mentees. And also can ask uh, uh, just advices uh, and there is a conduct of conduct of of our program we all probably understand that from mentorship uh, uh, usually mentees uh, get the most benefits like professionalism or goal orientation growth network opportunities and networking so uh, i invite everyone uh, if you have a a student or young researcher and uh, uh, to 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 show this page and uh, everyone can apply actually and uh, and uh, advance in their careers but also i would like to mention that um, mentors are also gaining uh, a lot of benefits uh, not not only listed here like networking leadership professional brand fulfillment but uh, many more because i will show several examples uh, at the end of my talk what i had had in mind so again i invite everyone uh, to apply if you feel like uh, being a mentor for younger generation so how our enrollment works um, uh, mentor or mentee should identify your mentoring strengths and needs then just apply to our program which is a simple online form uh, access, uh, access guidelines and await for matching the, the matching uh, sometimes takes uh, a while because we want to find uh, synergies between um, mentees needs and mentor strengths and then you will receive an email when you are matched and then mentor and mentee should organize uh, online meeting via, via platform they, they choose. Uh, one should also define their mentoring goals, engage and develop the whole process and plan for the future. And the most important step in the program is um, 
provide feedbacks for, for mentorship for us, because only with feedbacks we can make this program work uh, more efficiently and beneficial for, for everyone. So um, who are our mentor, mentors and who are our mentees? So our mentors are at many different stages of their careers. And what is important uh, that they have experience in working in the planetary science and also related fields. And um, the another important uh, thing is that uh, our mentors are prepared and willing to invest time and effort to support uh, young, young students and early career researchers by sharing their own experience, listening to them and planning um, uh, uh, helping to evaluate the, the, the options um, of, of mentees career plans. And our mentees usually are grad students and early career professionals, and they are typically less than seven years after the, the last degree. What I want to stress again, this program is very flexible, it's voluntary and it's confidential. Uh, I would like to show you some statistics since we are already running um, for, um, for um, two years from now. Uh, I just took uh, a, a, a program applicants um, uh, form, forms and I'm showing you affiliation card countries of program mentees. So you can see that diversity is, um, is very <clears throat> big. We have uh, um, program applicants, uh, mentees from um, many different countries like Serbia, Pakistan, Republic of Croatia, Sri Lanka, Switzerland, Hong Kong, Greece, Germany and, and other European countries. So you can see that the program is uh, really working and uh, students and young researchers are applying to get, to get the support that they need. <clears throat> So if we look in, in, a, in a couple of minutes, please. Yeah, yeah. So if we look at the the, the current uh, academic status of applicants, so the majority of them uh, uh, are PhD students, postdocs, and, and master students, and some bits of bachelors. And by gender, they are females, 55% and 40%. Uh, male as they identify and who are our mentors. Again, you can see the diversity, 16 different countries, um, starting from Germany, Chile, Hungary, Mexico, Lithuania, Romania, and so on. And uh, uh, how about the, uh, the, the, their experience? So we asked the questions, have you been a mentor before? Uh, majority answer 57% no, but 41% yes. And I'm showing the gallery of our mentors who wanted to be public in our page, the other did not. So you can go to our page and see themselves uh, yourself. And uh, we also provide uh, in the web page, we also provide the key frequently asked questions uh, about this program. So uh, we try to list uh, all relevant questions that you might ask. So we even again invite to have a look or if you have an extra question, you can write us uh, an email and, and ask. We are quite responsible uh, and resp resp rep uh, fast answering the questions. And um, uh, to finishing uh, uh, my talk, I would like to say that uh, we see the benefits of the program. We get feedbacks that we are very glad to receive. And I'm just listed a few feedbacks from mentees and mentor side. And what is important from this uh, collaboration between mentor and mentee, that we also see successful stories that not only they are asking advice on their career plans, but uh, we already see that some, uh, some uh, uh, peers uh, created new collaborator collaborations. One mentor having two mentees uh, managed to make collaboration between those two mentees from completely different parts of the world. 
and we have even publication thanks to this program or successful applications uh, that PhD student receive. So finishing my talk, I would like to invite everyone to pass this message that this program is available for younger and for everyone uh, of us to apply. And we are actively recruiting um, many mentors, so be, be, be the part of our program. And I listed here the following areas that we are looking for mentors. So um, thank you for, for your attention. Thank you, Edita. It's I don't know if you can, you heard that. Um, I, I didn't, sorry, if you could re, uh, say it. It is a comment from Nicholas Wal Walton uh, telling that it, it is an important topic and encouraging you to, to go ahead <laughs> with that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would like to co to make a comment. Sorry. Uh, okay, there is a, a question from Paula. Go ahead. You need to activate the microphone. Okay. Uh, how? Uh, no, uh, she. She. You. You, Paula, have to activate your your microphone. Okay. It is disabled, she said. So maybe maybe you can write it down and we can repeat it, your, your comment or question. Uh, for the moment, I, I would like to, to tell you, uh, Edita, that uh, here in Spain we have a, a similar initiative uh, regarding mentorship, but it is focused uh, towards women in, in astronomy. Uh, I can see that you focus in planetary sciences and uh, not a gender uh, uh, separation. So it, it may be different. What do you think about that? Do uh, you think it could be um, more uh, important or a key point to, to focus uh, maybe more in, in women, in students? Uh, uh, that are women uh, starting in astronomy, or maybe it's not so so important for from your point of view. Um, it's a very good question, and it's um, rather difficult to to answer. As you could see from the statistics that I showed, uh, the majority, after all, after all, are women, uh, the mentees. I mean, uh, but um, but. Um, I'm not sure if your if your astronomy um, mentorship program are um, the mentors uh, ev could be everyone or or only also women, you know? Because in our program we see that the majority, after all, are uh, uh, males who who help uh, uh, men mentors uh, mentees. So. Um, um, I think if the program is is including everyone, then uh, we will find the one who needs the help the most. So I wouldn't exclude uh, males as well, especially now uh, when we had the pandemic and uh, uh, little access to to communicate uh, face to face. Yeah, it's a different point of view. We both mentees and mentors are, are women, and we try to help each other. This is the way. Yeah. yeah, and also I, I saw the question from Paul in the chat, uh, the ratio of mentees and mentors, I, I believe that was the question. Mm. Uh, so the, the, the applicant ratio is, is one to one, but uh, since uh, we have diversity of uh, subjects, right, diversity of uh, planetary science, exoplanets, uh, that the mentees are looking um, uh, like career opportunities. So the ratio is one to one. But when we want to match uh, uh, mentee with mentor, we, we try to match um, uh, such peers that could gain the most. 
So it's uh, sometimes it's rather hard to find uh, mentors for that particular mentee. For example, I have uh, we have some cases where mentee wa wants to m to learn more about career plans on uh, research field related to black holes. So then it's re rather harder for me and I need to go to specific uh, persons and ask them to enroll in the program. Or for example, we have a mentee that uh, would like to learn more uh, about uh, career opportunities in um, star clusters or exoplanets. So exoplanet community, especially mentors, are, are rather shy to apply this program. So sometimes I deal with problems uh, finding suitable mentors in 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 exoplanet field for uh, let's say so. But um, yeah, it's one to one ratio uh, on the number of applicants. There is a question from Nick Walton, who is asking if you have a measurement of the success rate uh, of the initiative. Uh, so the, um, since we started this program two years ago, but uh, now we are going deeper um, on evaluating the program and uh, we have an online form on, uh, uh, on evaluation itself. But also we ask in this form if um, if uh, mentees and mentors would like to go to deeper evaluation and we have like uh, interviews, individual interviews. So uh, we just started this this yet, so I don't have uh, uh, exact uh, statistics of, of the success of the program, but uh, in uh, one year time we surely will we will do. Good. Any more questions? No, so let's thanks again our speaker. Thank you very much, Edita. Thank you.